Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling. The deck originally started as a joke between uh, me and Andrew Scovern. He sent me the original build. I posted a modified version of his build on Duelist Grounds, um, bragging that it could get out turn one Sheehan 77% of the time, and eventually it evolved into what I have here today. I went 8-2 overall at YCS Orlando, but my tiebreakers weren't the best, so I missed out on top 32. Nevertheless, the deck performed very well, and I was uh, really happy with how I did. So here's my build. Um, the main uh, engine behind the deck is Aestheticism of the Six Samurai. It's a quick play spell that special summons a samurai from the deck with the same attack as one on the field, but a different name, and it dies in the end phase. So what you do is, you play Elder and Kajemuja, you summon one of them, Aestheticism, get the other one, and it gives you another way to turn one Shien, which uh, your opponent can't affect Veil or any of that, unlike the standard combo. Uh, in addition, I can also Aestheticism my Kizen to get Zanji when Kizen's at 18, or Grandmaster when Kizen's at 21. So the card certainly has a lot of utility. 3 Kaigeki, 3 Kajimuja, and 2 Elder. 3 Kizen, Hand, Grandmaster, and Zanji for a total of 14. Spells are 3 Ascenticism, uh, all the staples, 3 United, 1 Gateway, 3 Signal, 1 Rota, 2 MST, True Nade, Book, Reborn, and 2 Upstarts. I'm um, not playing Dark Hole, not because I think it's bad or anything, but because I simply don't have room. It's also the reason why I'm only playing 1 Grandmaster, don't have room. Uh, I'm playing 2 Upstarts because I like to speed the deck slightly, but I'm not playing 3 because I don't want my opponent to gain like tons of life in one game. With 2 copies in the deck, it usually means that I'll only activate 1 copy per game. And I'm fine with them gaining 1,000 life, but not 2,000 or 3,000. Traps are 3 double edge, which is, in my opinion, a staple in the deck. I play the deck very aggressively, so if they have any kind of board sweep or anything, I like to be able to use double edge to come back. It also allows me to play right into a solid morning, only to just double edge and make another synchro. Speaking of solid morning, I'm playing two copies along with Psalm Judgment, which are essentially staples. Mirror Force to give me some protection, and Fiendish Chain, which is kind of dual purpose. I'm not playing the Counter Trap, and I'm not playing Dimensional Prison, because Fiendish Chain, Fiendish Chain accomplishes both. It can stop attacks and stop effects, which in my opinion makes it a very good card. I expect the card to see a bit more play in the future. As far as how the deck plays out compared to normal Samurai, it makes level 5s a lot it can turn one and make a level 5 around 70% of the time. It can also Trishula a lot. I Trishula many times during the tournament, often when I could have she ended instead, just because it's better to uh, remove an option on their field and in their hand and in the graveyard a lot of times. I'm playing one Chimera Fortress because I'm side decking Cyber Dragons. Um, two copies of she End the Synchro. There was only one duel the entire tournament where I wanted to bring out three, and I still won that duel anyways. One Kataster, one Nachuria Beast. Uh, Elder in Kajemuja is Nachuria Beast, which in many matchups is better than Sheehan, so Beast is kind of like my third Sheehan. I'm also playing Android. I just kind of like the card. Sometimes you just want to gain life. Maybe, you know, you're about to go into overtime, and you need some way to gain life. Or a lot of times you're at like, you you have some low life and you have a solemn morning set, so you want to gain life to make your solemn morning live. I just like having the extra option of Android. I'm um, playing three level sixes, a Brionic, a Barkeon, and a Gaia Knight. Um, I never had the opportunity where I wanted to bring out Gaia Knight in the tournament, but I know in the past I've brought it out and I think it's very useful. I'm playing three level 7s, a Black Rose, an Achuria Landois, and an Ancient Fairy Dragon. During the tournament, I actually never made a level 7 the entire day. So I would probably cut Ancient Fairy, 
for either the third Xi'an or possibly another level 8. I've got two 8 stars, a Stardust and a Scrap Dragon. I only synced for 8 once in the tournament, which was for Scrap Dragon. You don't really make 8s a lot. And last but not least, Trishula, which is an amazing card. Um, there were never any duels where I wanted to bring out two Trishulas, but I think at one it's definitely needed. Um, moving along to the side, two rivalry warlords against like the plant decks and decks that have a lot of different types. Two dimensional fisher, again against plants, light sworn, psychics, just like anything that has graveyard effects. Two cyber dragon. Although Machinas and Karakuris aren't that popular, um, I just like to have the Chimera Tech option in case I play against them. Cyber Dragon's also good against like the Stun decks and the Glide decks, so I just think it's a solid card overall. Two Puppet Plant. Um, the only matchup where you'd want to have three would be the Mirror, so I think two is the correct number. I'm also playing Gores for Mirror Match and um, Stun related decks. Gores is in my is in my opinion still one of the most powerful cards in the game, so I like to have it in various matchups. Uh, one effect veiler, just for the random times where I feel that it would help me, such as uh, against psychics or plants. I actually don't side in effect veiler for the mirror because I don't think it's that great, even if you're stopping their turn one Kaigeki. It's just my personal opinion. Um, side decking Dark Hole and Smashing Ground, mainly against uh, the more anti-meta variants that where I just want to have a lot of monster removal. Also Torrential for the same reason. Uh, Dust Tornado against decks like Gravekeepers and Dragoonities, or just decks with a lot of back row. And one Light Imprisoning Mirror. I figured Fabled might see some play at this event. Also, it stops Worms and uh, Light Sworn. I played against three mirror matches and beat them all. In my opinion, that's one of the main strengths of the deck is that it has a very big edge in the mirror because your deck is faster than theirs, you can she in more often, and you just have a lot more power and control. I played against one Gravekeeper, which was against uh, Andrew Fridella in the final round, which I beat. Um, the standard build of Samurai beats Gravekeepers, and this build also beats Gravekeepers. Don't know what else to say. I played against two Lightsworn decks in the tournament, one of which was one of my losses. Um, basically, the reason why I lost to the Lightsworn player was I went for a turn one kill, and he had Gores. You might say, well, Alan, you're an idiot. Why'd you do that? Like, he had a very low probability of having Gores. He was playing 42 cards which meant that he had a 1 in 7 chance of opening it, and I also trishulled him in the same turn, so even if he did open Gores, I had a chance of hitting it, but he did open Gores, I didn't hit it, and I lost as a result. My other loss was to Kara Curry's. Um, one of the games I Chimera teched him, that was the game I won. The other two games he went off with burrito combos, and he had a solemn judgment both times to stop my answer. Probably the most interesting story of the entire day for me was how I beat a mirror match in round 7. He wins the die roll. He goes first, activates 6 Samurai United, 6 Samurai United, Sheehan's Dojo. He summons Kaigeki, activates the effect, special summons Kajimuja. He draws 4 cards of the United. He sinks for a copy of Sheehan. He pops Dojo, gets a Kaigeki in defense, reborns his Kajemuja, and sinks for a second Shien, sets three back rows and passes. I draw. Uh, my hand is decent, but can't beat two Shien's, obviously. I set a Solemn Judgment and pass. I figure worst case scenario, he'll kill me next turn, and then he won't know what I'm playing for game two. He draws his card, sets a monster, sets a spell or trap, attacks for 5,000 and ends. I draw for my turn. Now at this point, I have a Psalm Judgment set, and my six-card hand is Gateway of the Six, Sheehan Smoke Signal, Giant Trunade, Kaigeki, Hand, and Kizen. So here's what I decide to do. 
I activate Sheehan's smoke signal. He negates. I activate gateway. He negates. I activate Trunade. It resolves and bounces his four back rows back to his hand. I go Kaigeki, hand, Kizen. I use my hand's effect twice, blow up both of his Sheehan's. Now I reset my Solemn Judgment since I Trunaded it, and I said, quote, Attack into your Morphing Jar? He flips it up, and it's a Morphing Jar. So he loses his entire hand, and we both draw five. I set Warning, Double Edge, and Book, and proceed to win. You think you're fucking with? I'm the fucking boss. Seven forty-five, white on white. That's fucking Ross. I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat. I keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. I'm in the distribution. I'm like Atlantic. I got the motherfuckers flying across the.